What is up everybody, it is Life's Apprentice. Well, today we're gonna be teaching you guys how to install valley metal on an asphalt shingle roof. Now this valley metal is what we will use for a closed valley. Um, there are other types of valleys which will be installed slightly differently um, for an open valley. And in a case like this, you really don't need to put in valley metal um, on a valley like this. But it is recommended. Um, it's going to prevent possible leaks in some scenarios and it's just going to make the valley a lot more sturdy um, if you have gaps or cracks in the plywood and stuff like that. So we're going to get this side rolled out and then uh, we'll kind of show you how it all ties together. Now this valley is 20 inches wide, galvanized. You need a snip. Uh, I believe it's, I don't know, it's probably 28 gauge. We're going to want to make sure at the bottom that we have plenty of extra. You got enough? Yep, yep. And then he's going to cut it and give it some room up at the top. We'll show you that in a minute. It's kind of a two-man job here, and we'll show you a little bit more detailed here once we get it set. We want to make sure that we're centered in the valley, roughly. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you wanna get it as close as possible. You liking that? Love it. Now I just go up and I'm gonna nail one side. So we have one side nailed, okay, all the way down. Now what I do is I stand in the valley to make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm just gonna work my way down. Again, we're nailing right up on the edge, not down in the valley. So I'm going every 16 inches or so, making sure that it's flat. Especially down here, you want to make sure it's flat. Otherwise, you're going to have a gap right where your gutter apron is. If it's not tight down to the gutter apron, you're going to have a big hole there. I'm just going to take a snip and cut this. I'm cutting it, I don't know if you can see, a quarter inch above the D edge. And when I get close to the corner, I kind of round this off so that when water comes down, it doesn't end up hitting right in that corner. There you can see how that looks. And this is sticking out about an inch, just right in that little tiny zone. Now at the top, we have all this overhang here. You can see where the ridge dives into this roof. I take it and I'm gonna cut it basically on that same line as the valley, right to this point. Okay, and then this is gonna fold over. Nope, need nails. How we got nails? We're gonna nail this. There you can see how that goes. Now we're gonna continue the same process on this side that we did on this side. Um, and then I'll show you how we finish it off when this piece comes up over here. Again, nailing one side and one side only. Then we're gonna get in the valley, 
make sure it's tight nail it where it's nice and flat no wrinkles because that'll show through on your shingles and we don't want that You got that snip and we're gonna be finishing this now the way that you do this is gonna dictate um, what type of valley you're doing if you're doing an open valley you're gonna have to make sure that this is pretty watertight um, but what we're gonna do is basically the same thing we did on the other side Just like that. Now we wanna be careful with this one. We did nail down kinda of in the valley, like down in here on this other side. On this, we do not wanna do that. Um, so I'm gonna put one up top, ridge and everything's gonna cover. I'm gonna put a couple there. And we wanna make sure that this is tight. Um, and then we're not gonna nail there. Um, I guess you can if you want up here because your ridge is gonna your ridge is gonna cover this. Um, if you really are concerned about leaking or anything like that, if you're doing an open valley, um, you can by all means you can tar this, you can caulk it, seal it however you want. Um, but we do not do that because we're gonna do a closed valley. so none of this will be seen. Um, and what this is gonna do is this helps prevent, if water gets in, say it's an ice dam or something like that, if water gets in and leaks in the valley, ideally it gets onto the metal and runs out underneath the shingles. The other thing about this is if there's gaps or cracks um, in the plywood, this is gonna cover that up. And that way if you're walking on it with your shingles, it isn't pulling nails or uh, cracking or messing with your shingles. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, I appreciate a thumbs up if I did help you. If you're looking for more videos, how-to roofing videos like this, go to my channel. I have a whole bunch of roofing videos. And uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe for more. We will see you on the next one. Big time. <laughs> I don't know, you want to shingle a bit? Take this away. Sure, I don't care. You can start right there. Can the other side or? No, not right now. We can. We got, we got time. If nothing else, it's laid out.